Hi, my name is Kate and you are very welcome here on my channel where I talk about fragrances. Today we're going to discuss the latest fragrance from the house of Tom Ford. We'll come back to this in a second. But first I just want to mention, if you like this video, please give it a like, share it with somebody who would appreciate watching it, subscribe to my channel, and just stay here. Let's explore the world of fragrances together. Okay, so pour yourself some tea, coffee, I have mine just here or maybe wine, get comfy, and let's start the discussion of this fragrance. What do I have to say? This is an amber woody fragrance. On the website, they mentioned several notes, two kinds of mirror, vanilla absolute and uh, sandalwood. So I would like to say that I love Tom Ford's fragrances. It's one of my favorite brands, and I have a lot of them. <laughs> and I think they are trendsetters. They break boundaries and it's amazing amazing house in general but with this release i didn't understand i didn't really understand what they wanted to say with it i think they just maybe wanted to create their own uh take on opium by saint laurent the old one not black opium uh the chocolatey coffee one but the old opium in a um, brown bottle because this is what I get from it a lot. It's definitely mirror, like it's incense it's strong. It sits on your skin. I wore it for a couple of days, so I know. It sits pretty thick on your skin, even though for some reason it's not very long lasting. But it's not really changing. From the second I sprayed on me till three hours later, I smell the same thing. I wish they added maybe some citruses in the beginning to light it up. Or maybe flower to the heart or something that just rounds it a little bit something that just shows it from different sides i just wish it had a little more tones and colors um the bottle i will definitely show it here is a beautiful brown color which also reminds me of opium and i feel like it's uh, kind of modernized but not very interesting version of opium by saint laurent that's how i feel about it I don't know what would make me remember this fragrance, what would make it stand out out of the line of similar fragrances. Uh, I would recommend Opium, or if you want something newer, uh, Fate Woman by Amouage. Fate is an amazing take on the Opium, but it has a lot of layers, a lot of colors. It's changing. It can surprise you sometimes during the day, you know, by ooh, showing something else. This one will not surprise you. On the other hand, if you like something stable that smells the same all day long, although it's it's not super long lasting on my skin, I think from the moment I spray till the moment when I don't, yeah, when I don't smell it like now, it's been about four hours. I I don't really smell it. Maybe slight slight skin scent. I'm curious what you think about it. Maybe there is something about this fragrance that you found and I didn't. Maybe there's something you saw in this fragrance that would make me change my mind. So far, I know it's not a necessary bottle for me. I don't need it for my collection. But I would like to know what you think. Because this fragrance definitely was expected in the fragrance world and people were excited. So I want to know more about how the audience accepted this fragrance. Stay tuned for more videos and see you soon. Bye-bye.